There's this lie that I used to tell myself all the time. And you might be telling yourself this lie as well. It's a lie that keeps you stuck in these cycles of procrastination, these cycles of overthinking and analysis paralysis. That lie is this idea, this concept that you need a clearly defined goal or purpose to be effective and to get work done. This is a lie. And if you believe it, you are holding yourself back. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what to replace that lie with. It's something that David Goggins calls perform without purpose. And for the sake of this video, I'm gonna call it work without purpose. Now, before we dive into this superpower, which is working without purpose, let's first understand why it's necessary. Because there's this fallacy of goal-driven productivity. Many of us subconsciously fall into this trap. We believe that the only way we can truly be productive is if we have this clearly defined purpose or goal. Something that we're truly passionate about and something that we want to work on. You know, that whole Ikigai concept where it's like the three circles uh, and it's like passion, what you're good at, what people want. Like that's great if you can figure it out and having clear goals and, and finding that doing what you want to do it's awesome and you should spend time trying to figure this out if you haven't already but maybe you've already tried that and you still don't know what you want to do and you're stuck in this rut your goals aren't defined and no matter how much you sit down and think about them you just don't get any closer to some sort of clarity or purpose or vision the whole book and off-grid cabin and journal hasn't worked for you either. And so you're well and truly swimming in a sea of purposelessness. Purposelessness? Purpose. Purposelessness. There you go, purposelessness. It's a hard word to say. When you're in this situation, the instinct is to always set a new goal. You know, something that will kick you back into action and solve all your productivity issues. And that is the fallacy. Thinking that removing the barrier between procrastination and doing consistent focused work is simply a matter of finding the right goal. It's not. This is not how life works, and you know it, because if you've been procrastinating consistently, then you've probably developed this habit. It's, it's like this physical impulse to avoid work, and it's something I call the cycle. I can't think of a better name for it. I'm just going to call it the cycle, okay? But if you have a better name, then leave it in the comments below. So this lack of clarity combined with chronic procrastination habits leads to this cycle. This cycle varies in intensity from person to person. For some people, it's this like vicious self-loathing where they really hate themselves. And for others, it's just this disengaged apathy. Uh, like you just don't care about anything. And it goes something like this. You're dissatisfied with your situation and you want to make a change. Maybe you've been procrastinating too much. You've been playing League of Legends, uh, you know, reading self-help book after self-help book to get all the good motivational feels, but you've realized that nothing's changed because you haven't done anything. And so you must up the energy and you metaphorically put your stake in the ground and you say, it's time to make a damn change. I'm tired of acting this way. This is the moment where everything changes. And so you set a goal, probably quite a few of them, and your energy is high you feel motivated, uh, and if you're lucky, you might be productive and consistent for a few days or a few weeks, but then something happens. You convince yourself that maybe the goals you set aren't the right goals. Uh, maybe there's something else you can do that's better, or maybe you set too many, or you know, you, you were too ambitious, or, or they weren't big enough, or, or something. And so brick by brick, you build up these layers of excuses to avoid doing the work. And this leads you back to where you were, which is stuck in this trap of not really working but trying to, this dissatisfaction, this, this overthinking, this lack of clarity. And so you repeat the cycle and you try and get out of it again by setting a new goal and saying, this is when I'm gonna change and blah, blah, blah. And it kind of just repeats itself ad infinitum. I don't think you want that. And the traditional advice to get clear on what you want to get out of that trap hasn't helped you, you've tried that so many damn times. We need to remember that procrastination is a habit and it's gonna require some consistent driven effort to change it. Having a clear goal might help you, it's great if you do, but if you don't have one, you shouldn't wait around for it. So here's a better approach, which I mentioned at the start of the video, it is to work without purpose. If you're stuck in this analysis paralysis trap, you're stuck in this cycle, uh, you have two options. You can try and think 
your way out of it and wait to see if some sort of purpose just magically comes down and it appears in front of you, or you can do stuff anyway. You can publish articles, you can upload those YouTube videos, you can work on that product, you can email those people, you can just do stuff, right? You can just work. The latter is what's called working without purpose or process without purpose. It's a simple act of taking action on something without it being attached to some lofty purpose. It's the ability to be consistent and focused regardless of how you feel, regardless of the meaning or lack of meaning behind the work. To give you an example of this, I recently transitioned out of my e-learning company that I built up over the last almost decade, and I quickly got to the point where I knew I had to work without purpose because I'd freed up all this time and I started catching myself falling into these overthinking cycles, these overanalyzing cycles. And in the past, I would have stayed there for too long and fallen into the cycle uh, and fallen into these procrastination traps and like overthinking and kind of waiting for some clarity. Uh, but this time I decided to do something different. I decided to just work without purpose. So I just started working on random ideas that I had like small things. I launched two digital products, space of a few months. I did a bunch of coaching calls. I took on some client work. I started uploading to YouTube again. And at this point now, I have more of a purpose. I know roughly where I'm going, but for a good six months, that purpose didn't exist. And I just did the work anyway. And it was probably one of the best things I could have done because the old me would have just procrastinated and waited for something to come along. So if you're stuck in a similar position, I recommend doing the same. Just start working away on those small projects and ideas you have and see where they go. It's far more likely that working on those things will lead you towards that clarity and purpose that you desire, more so than sitting around waiting and trying to think about it. So another way to think about work without purpose is building your mental muscles or building a base or capacity for work. So most people I know who lift weights uh, they have a vague purpose. They want to look better, they want to be fit, they want to feel better, but very few of them are training for an actual bodybuilding competition, right? They aren't training for an event. They don't necessarily have this clearly defined purpose that underpins their training. They just train because they know it's good to do and it feels good. And you can think of work the same way. Working towards a clearly defined goal or purpose is ideal but it's not always available or possible. But working is still important. It's good to do, and it feels good. And by doing it, you build up your mental muscles. In other words, your work ethic. You build your capacity to focus for hours at a time, just like an endurance athlete builds an aerobic base, which forms the foundation for all their accomplishments. The knowledge worker builds a base of focus and concentration ability that fuels their future achievements. And when you build this base, this capacity for focus, you have an immense advantage over the person who just kind of waits around uh, for that clarity, for that goal, for that purpose to hit them. Because when you eventually, and I would say inevitably figure out the thing that you want to do long term, whether it's the business you want to build, the book you want to work on, the career you want to switch to, you'll have a massive ability to direct focus, attention, and energy towards that path with the added benefit of the extra motivation that comes with a clearly defined purpose. And the person who waits around and doesn't do the work without purpose, chances are they will not find their purpose. But if they do, there'll be so much resistance to just doing the work because they don't have this capacity. They don't have this base. They're out of practice. They can't go and run the marathon because they haven't been running for the last 12 months. They need to rebuild their ability to focus. Their work ethic has declined. So you don't want to be that person because that person usually gets some clarity and then doesn't make use of it and falls back into the cycle. So if you've reached this point in the video, you have a choice. Do you continue to wait around for some purpose or some goal to kick you into gear or do you do the work anyway without purpose? As you already know, the latter is far more likely to lead you to that place of clarity and purpose, and it has the added benefit of developing your capacity and your ability to focus. And if you believe that this idea, this concept of working without purpose is a powerful approach, then the next step is to just do it. Pick something, don't overthink it, work on it, complete it, 
and then repeat the process. Do this for three to six months and see how things change. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more videos just like this. See ya.